An important tool for process improvement used in the define phase is a process map or SIPOC. This map provides a visual representation of the current process so that everything is clearly laid out in terms of steps, owners, and process times. Some of the dangers of process mapping are getting too detailed very quickly in the process and assuming all processes are different. At Harrison Street University, we like to follow a phased approach to process mapping to ensure we are focusing on the things that matter most throughout the process. The first step for process mapping is creating a SIPOC, which is an acronym for the parts of the tool. Suppliers, inputs, process steps, outputs, and customers. A completed SIPOC gives the team a bird's eye view of a complex process showing that at a high level, many processes are the same and can be categorized into major steps. To optimize the potential of a SIPOC, your team should follow the process as it occurs today and not how you wish it may occur. It's important to keep in mind that you will only want to include high-level responses. Adding too much detail will overcomplicate the results. Let's create a SIPOC diagram for the process of ordering a hamburger. Keep in mind that when creating the SIPOC, you should complete the diagram in the order of O, C, P, I, S, not from left to right as you might naturally read a diagram. Furthermore, you should add the top four to seven items under each section. The lists do not need to line up. In other words, you can have six items under outputs and only four items under inputs. To begin, capture the name of the process, ordering a hamburger. Next, identify the starting and ending points of the process. The customer enters the store and the customer exits the store. Once your team has agreed on process boundaries, you can begin filling out the SIPOC chart. Begin by brainstorming process outputs, the hamburger, change, and a receipt. Next, determine the customer or customers involved in the process. In this situation, we say the customer is the person or groups receiving the outputs of the process. With this information, list the major steps of the process. Take the order. Take the payment. Give the customer change and a receipt. Fill the order. And finally, deliver the order. Next, define the inputs of the process, or what makes the process start ingredients, equipment, and the customer's order. Finally, determine the process suppliers or who supplies the inputs to the process. Note, it is common to have the suppliers and customer on the SIPOC be the same answer. A SIPOC clarifies who should be on the team helps the team agree on project boundaries and scope, identifies suppliers to and customers of the process, and allows all to realize process views are quite similar regardless of the type of hamburger you order at the restaurant.